Welcome back to the basic mobile phone function lesson. 欢迎回到那个基本的手机功能课。So in lesson five, we'll be talking about messaging, setting alarms, and reminders. 所以第五课呢，我们会讲的是传简讯，呃，设置闹钟，还有那个提醒的功能。So what did we do last lesson? 上个星期我们学了什么 ？Making calls on smartphone， 我们用智能手机来打电话。So just a recap， 我们复习一下。Set one， click the phone icon。第一步，按下手机符号。Step two， dial the phone number。第二步，拨打电话号码。Step three, press call button. 第三步，按下拨打按钮。Yeah, so this is it. In your phone, smartphone, per se, click on this button to make phone call. 在你的手机，智能手机啊，你看到这个啊、呃，这个标志呢，按进去。Let's say the number you have to dial or to call is eight zero three four seven six one five. So, 例如说呢，哎，你要打的号码是八零三四七六幺五。What do you do? 你怎么做呢 ？You press eight. 你按八。You press zero. 按零。Press three. 按三。Press four. 按四。Press seven. 按七。Press six. 按六。Press one, and E. Press five, and O. And then you press the call but uh call button, and then and 那个拨打电话的按钮 And then to end call, you press the end call button, which is in red. So if you want to, 就是挂了那个电话呢，按下这个红色的这个呃。这个键来结束通话。So sending messages on smartphone， 用智能手机来发短信。Now text messages are primary are sent primary from phone to other cell phones. As long as you have a mobile number to send to or the contact with a mobile phone, you can send a text message. 那短信主要呢是通过手机呢来发送到其他的手机。只要您有发送，你要你有要发送的手机号码，或与手机的联系呢，啊，你就可以发送短信。So to send text messages to others, launch the text message app first. 那首先呢，我们要开启发送短信的程序呢。它可以发送短信 ，which is over here. In this is a symbol or logo that is used to send out the text message. 那就如刚才你看到屏幕那个画圈圈的那个地方呢，这个就是发短信的应用程序。You will see a list of current conversations, if any, organized by contact name or phone number. If you are using WhatsApp. Messages, messenger. 所以呢，你会看到呢，按联系人姓名或电话号码组织的当前对话列表，如果有的话。而这个呢，只能在 WhatsApp 的那个呃短信息里面呢看到。If you see the name of the person you want to text, choose it from the list. Otherwise, touch the add icon, which is like a plus sign. 如果你要呃，看到要发送文本的人的姓名，请从列表中选择个名称，否则请触呃触摸那个添加图案，是好像一个加的那个图案类似。You might see the new message or compose message command instead of the add icon。你可能会看到那个新建消息。命令，而不是添加图图标
which is shown in that pen with a box logo. Oh, so in if you are starting a new conversation, type a contact name or cell phone number. 如果您要开始新会话的话呢,请建入联系人姓名或手机号码. When the number you type matches one or more existing contacts, those contacts are displayed. Choose one to send a, num a message to that person, otherwise, continue typing the phone number. 当你进入那个的号码, 与一个或多一个现有联系人匹配时呢，这样显示这些联系人。选择一个向你个呃个人发送消息，否则呢，继续输入电话号码。Remember, you can add multiple recipients if you like. Just keep adding contacts or phone numbers. 呃，记得你可以添加多个收件人，只需不断的添加联系人或电话号码即可。uh, remember, I think in the last few lessons we talked about this before. Uh, 记得我们在, uh, 很多个堂课之前, now, in the lab, you see that you uh, the two side is where you input the recipient, the people who you want to send message to, the names and all that. So you see you can put one and more people. And then you type in your message at that box below. So you can see the right side of the picture. You can see what you can do. And then you can see how many people you can do. And then you can see how So in the right is more towards, if I'm not wrong, at WhatsApp. That's where how you message people. You find the person's name, and in the red circle box is what the people say, what the person say. And then in the purple box is what you say. And then below you see the blank white box is where you type your message. And then beside you can add your location or picture. So you pin the tuna su tai WhatsApp tai yoda. 你看到上面就显示了那个人的名字你看看那个人的脸写名字被红色圈起来那个格呢是在他们讲的东西他们发的讯息紫色圈起来的格呢是你发的讯息然后你看往下看那个白色的空格那边呢是你打你的讯息进
一说出的内容或接听的地方，就犹如你现在看那个右边的图案一样。Now next we are talking about setting alarms on smartphone. 啊，下一个我们要谈的是用智能手机的闹钟功能。So step one, you press the clock icon. 第一步，你按下时针的按钮 ，which is here. So can you read? 啊，就是那个红色圈圈里的那个按钮。Step two, press alarm icon. 第二步，按下闹钟按钮 ，which is here. In circle in red, 就是在这里用红色圈圈画起来的地方。Step three, press the plus icon. 第三，按下加的那个按钮。Which is here circle in red, 在我们红色圈圈的地方。The next step is set time and alarm sound. 那下一个步骤呢，就是设定时间和铃声。Which is In those circle area, 就是在我们那些画圈圈的地方。After that, press save button. 之后按下保存按钮 ，which is here in the circular red area. 那你按下那个保存按钮的地方呢，就是在那个红色圈圈那边。So remember the steps again. To set the alarm, you must also click on the right side, that green area, to activate it. If not, your alarm will not ring. So you remember when you set the alarm clock, the green area will be visible. If your green area is not visible, it means your alarm is not ringing. Then you will not hear the alarm. And you will not even think about it. Okay. Then moving on to setting reminders on smartphone. Ah, 下一个我们要谈的就是用智能手机的提醒功能 Step one, press reminders icon. 按下提醒按钮 which is in this green box, green colored box here. 就是在我们这个青色被画了青色的格子这里的。然后 step two, press plus icon. 按下加的按钮 Which is over here, circle in red. 在我们这个画红色圈圈的地方。Then after you press I icon to set alarm. 然后呢，你按下 I 按钮呢来设定闹钟。Which is over here, circle in red. 在这里被画了红色圈圈的地方。Then alarm remind me on the day. 启动每一天提醒我的功能。Which is here, circle in red. 在这边的红色的地方，你来启动那个功能。And then set the date and time below. 设定日期和时间。Which is here, circle in red. 在这个红色圈圈的地方。And this is the time area. 在这个红色圈圈的地方呢，则是时间的地方。So it's the date and time. 日期跟时间。好。And then once you actually move to the uh day and time, then that's the place where you see you you will see the exact figures. 所以当你设定好你要移动到的那个日期跟啊。时间之后呢，它就会停止在那里，给你确定。Then after that, press done. 最后你按下设好的按钮 ，which is circle, uh, in the red circle area， 在那个红色的圈圈的地方。Now, quiz time. 那现在是我们的测验时间。So, uh, for the staff conducting this program, you may want to pause the video. To let them, uh, question, ah,、uh, not question. To let them answer this, ah,、uh, this quiz. So, our staff, uh, in conducting this program, you can just stop the program and press the pause button.
那个啊、呃、影片。来让他们回答问题 ，All right， OK， so， 好 ，We have a few questions， 那我们有几个问题 ，We have three questions in fact， 我们有三个问题 ，So， the first is， where is the area for text messaging？ 第一个问题是哪里是发短信 ？Second。Where's the area for setting of reminders? 第二个是哪里是提醒功的 And the third, where's the area for setting alarms? 第三个是哪里是闹钟的功能 Okay, so the clock is for setting alarms. And then this notepad is for setting reminders. And finally, this bar,、uh, talking bubble is for text messaging. So, you know, this time clock is for alarm clock. This looks like a book or a book. It's a reminder. 这个话筒的第呃标志呢是发短信的功能。Okay, so with that, we'll come to the end of the lesson, and we'll see you in the next lesson. 所以我们已经来到那个啊、呃、课的结束，那我们下一堂课见。